my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I made a dress for my mother-in-law. This dress has the design of the back swing sleeve, uh, buster front and midi length and makes it a little loose for casual look as a gift for my mother-in-law. So on the measurement in this video will be on her body size. I put this in the description part for your reference. So let's get started! The first step is making the pattern for the dress. To make the back pattern of the top bodice, I draw two perpendicular lines first. From the cutting point, I mark at 2.5cm on the horizontal line. It's the depth of the neck at the back of the dress, then drawing a straight line based on it. After that, I mark up from the cutting point 9cm, which is the half of the neck that I want for the dress, then draw a horizontal line from that mark to the straight line just real before it. I draw a line to connect two marks together first, then I mark at the middle of that line later. From this mark, I connect to the marks on the straight line next to it, then keep marking in the middle of that line. After that, I connect this mark to two marks I make in the beginning. Based on these lines, I make a curved line to finish the next line for the back part of the top bodice. From the end of the neckline, I mark out 21cm, which is the length of the sleeve that I want. It should be over the shoulder around 10cm. From the new mark, I draw a perpendicular line with 4cm width. It's 1 by 10 the width of the shoulder. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the neckline to finish the new shoulder line for the back pattern. After that, I draw a straight line from the end of the shoulder line to cut the first horizontal line. From this line, I draw another straight line with 18cm from it. After that, I draw a straight line 3cm away from it. This will be the bust line of the back pattern. I keep drawing another straight line at 39cm from the first one. It's the length from the shoulder to under the bust. It's around 3cm above the belly button. And this will be the under bust line of the back pattern. From the end of the shoulder line, I draw a perpendicular line to create a sleeve line for the back pattern. From the end of the bust line, I mark up 23.5cm, which is a quarter of the bust side plus 1cm. From the end of the under bust line, I mark up 21cm, which is a quarter of the under bust side plus 1cm. Then I connect two marks together and also connect the end of the sleeve line to finish the side line of the back pattern. Making a curved line at the end of the sleeve to make a smooth connecting from the sleeve to the side of the dress. After that, I add 1cm for seam allowance, except 3cm at the sleeve. And you will have the back pattern of the top bodice after cutting. To make the front pattern for the top bodice, I copy the back pattern first. Then I connect the end of the neckline to the bust line to create the neckline for the front pattern. From the end of the back pattern, I mark up 10cm which is the length from the under bust to the middle bust. Then connect this mark to the end of the side line. Based on this line, I draw a curved line to create a space for the breast. If you have a big breast, you should make this curve bigger. After that, I draw a perpendicular line from the middle of the curved line. The length of this line will be under the bust line. Then I check the length of the curved line and the length of the straight line to find the gap between them. So I can create a dot after that. I add 1cm for seam allowance at the new lines to finish the pattern. And you will have the front pattern of the top bodice after cutting. To make the front pattern of the bottom dress, I draw a horizontal line first. 
Then at one end of the horizontal line, I draw a straight line, which is the top line of the front pattern. From this straight line, I draw another one at 25cm next to it. It's the quarter of the hip side. It will be the hip line of the pattern. After that, I keep drawing another straight line at 60 cm from the first one. It's the length from the under bust to the knee, which is the length of the dress that you want. From the end of the top line, I mark up 21 cm, which is a quarter of the under bust side plus 1 cm. From the end of the hip line, I mark up 28cm, which is the quarter of the hip side plus 3cm. Then I connect two marks together. This line will cut the ending line at one point. As I don't want the bottom dress too wide, I make a curved line at the end of this straight line, and you will have the side line of the pattern. From the end of the side line, I mark up 1cm, then connect this mark to the end of the other side. Based on this line, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the ending line of the front pattern. From one end of the top line, I draw out 10 cm, which is the length from the under bust to the middle bust at the top bodice, then connecting it to the end of the side line to finish the under bust line for the pattern. After that, I add 1 cm seam allowance, except 3 cm at the ending line. And we will have the front pattern of the bottom dress after cutting. To make the back pattern of the bottom dress, I copy the front pattern first. Then I mark the end of the top line from the front pattern to the back pattern later. After adding 1cm seam allowance, I connect it to the end of the side line. As the back of the dress will have two pieces, I add 1cm extra for seam allowance at the middle of the pattern. And here is the back pattern of the dress after cutting. Now, let's make this dress. I use 2 meters of thick chip from fabric for this DIY. I start with the top bodice of the dress first. When cutting, remember to cut the front pattern of the top bodice in full fabric. After that, I mark the dart from the pattern to the fabric. Then sewing to create the dart after that. After sewing, I connect the front and the back of the top bodice together at the shoulder and two sides. To create the inside part for the neck of the top bodice, I draw a curved line at 7 cm inside the neckline of the front and the back pattern. After cutting, I connect the front and the back of the inside part together at the shoulder and sewing. After that, I connect the inside part of the top bodice to the neckline and sewing.
After the first seam, I make a small cut at the end of the neck and the curve of the neck to turn the inside part inside. Then make the under stitching seam together on the end fabric to one side. Don't forget to iron the neck after that. At the end of the sleeve, I draw a line at 4cm inside it first. After that, I fold the end of the sleeve inside around 1cm first, then keep folding it to the line I just drew before that, and sewing. And we will finish the top bodice of the dress. Moving to the bottom of the dress, I connect the front and the back of the bottom together at two sides first. Then I connect the top and the bottom of the dress together after that. The next step is adding the zipper at the middle of the back. I use 30cm length of the invisible zipper in the same color with the fabric. After sewing, I connect the end of the back under the zipper together. The last step is finishing the end of the dress. I draw a line at 4cm from the ending line first. After that, I fold the end fabric inside around 1cm, then keep folding it to the line I just drew before it, and sewing. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. The bat wing sleeve and the buster design at the front create the perfect look for this thread. I hope you like it and try it out. See you next week.